Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. I hope everybody's doing well today. Hope everybody's feeling blessed and grateful. Um, if you're not, you should always be grateful because no matter what you're going through, no matter how you feel, there's always somebody who has it worse than you right now. So for that, you should express gratitude. And I also want to express gratitude to everybody who watches my videos. Thank you for your support. Shout out to you. Be the best. So before we get started on our topic today, I'm going to go ahead with our spiritual copyright disclaimer. On behalf of Starseed Galactic Federation, I have been given access to this knowledgeable information from my Akashic Records for the purpose of helping humanity. This information is given directly to me as a divine channel and any use or reproduction of this information without proper accreditation or acknowledgement from which this information was received will result in instant karma for the plagiarizing parties or individual. And so it is. Now, now that we got that out the way, today I'm going to talk about a topic that a lot of people I feel as though are afraid to really talk about, and that is toxic parents. Now, a parent can be toxic and you don't even realize it until you're like 40 something years old. However, toxicity, it has no it has no boundaries. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter who the person necessarily is. It does not have any relationship barriers or boundaries or anything like that. And a lot of times people fail to acknowledge the fact when they truly do have a toxic parent or when they're being the toxic parent. So I can say from my personal experience, having lived with a toxic mother, you know, it's hard because for me personally, growing up, you know, you see, you see areas where your parent may be toxic, but you know, at the time you don't necessarily realize it perhaps because you're growing up in that environment. But then as you grow up, a lot of times when you have a toxic parent, your behaviors and the way that you act when you grow up, it has a lot to do with how you were raised. And that is something that is a topic that people want to tread lightly on. And a lot of parents wonder why their children go a certain way and go down certain paths. And it's a lot of times it is due to the toxicity in which they may have raised their child in. Because as a parent, I can say there, there were times when I had to consciously take a step back and say, hey... I don't need to just be caught up in what's going on in my life. I also need to take into account my children, take into consideration their feelings of what's going on with them. And that's nobody's fault. A lot of times our parents, they can't help the way that they are because a lot of people end up being products of their environment and it might not necessarily be their outside environment. A lot of times it's, it's how they were raised. And I will definitely, most definitely, most definitely tell you being West Indian, I have noticed that it tends to also be a cultural toxicity that is going on that a lot of people, they like to make jokes about it, you know, or speak of lightly instead of really addressing it because a lot of times that toxicity is what causes generational curses and blockages within the children. A lot of times Caribbean or West Indian parents, you know, when their, ch when their children are growing up, they feel as though the child should not necessarily express themselves a certain way. They should not be able to have a repertoire with the parents to where as they're saying, mom or dad, no, this, I don't like this, or I feel as though this should be done another way. Caribbean parents, and I'm using Caribbeans because I am Caribbean, all right, but you can apply this to any culture, any genre. It does not matter. It applies to anywhere where you have toxic parentage. But a lot of times, the children are raised to where as though they should be seen and not heard. Their opinions are not valued as much as the elders in the family. And I'm going to tell you that is wrong. And that breeds toxicity because a lot of times those children grow up and they feel as though they, their voice does not matter. It lowers their self-worth from a child age all the way onto adulthood. And that is something that you end up having to learn because me, I had to learn my self-worth over and over and over again. I have always been an outspoken person, but a lot of things that I went through in my life because of how I was raised and how I was told not to voice certain things, even though I did a lot of the times, you know, I did. But that stopped me from fully expressing myself. That gave me a limit 
a blockage to where a lot of things that happened to me, I would hold inside. And when people hold a lot of things inside, especially because of the way that they were parented, it ends up manifesting in other ways, such as addictions. You know, they tend to get into those narcissistic relationships a lot quicker than people who were raised with parents who allowed them to express themselves healthily and had a healthy repertoire and back and forth with them. Also too, toxic parentage, another example of that is where the parents have that do as I say, not as I do type motto. And I'm going to tell you, children learn from example. So as a parent, you when you're telling your child, don't, don't do what you see me doing. Although I might be doing something that can be uh, potentially detrimental to my health or our well-being, don't do what I say, what I what you see me doing. Do what I say for you to do. Okay? That right there, that is very toxic because that ends up confusing children and they grow up being confused and then they grow up having that contradictory behavior which can negatively affect them not just at home but also in interpersonal relationships whether it's a friendship that can affect them at work that can affect them all types of way because then they end up being hypocrites right and it's very hypocritical to tell somebody do as i say not as i do if you are a true leader whether you are a parent or not the proper way to lead somebody is to lead from the front and what that means is to lead by example okay that is the best way for people to learn it has scientifically proven that is the best way for people to learn is by example you cannot just tell somebody hey do this 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 and not show them how it is done that that also equates into poor parenting okay because what people don't realize is especially toxic parents what you don't realize is your child looks up to you you are your child's first role model so if you are being toxic or if you are engaging in toxic behaviors your child is going to emulate that at some way or point in their life and whereas that toxic behavior may not necessarily impact you you don't know how it's going to impact your children that's why it's very important for you to Lead by example for you to identify any toxic patterns that you have with yourself, whether it's how you were raised and you looked at it as though it was tradition from a cultural aspect or just from an environmental aspect. And even if you looked at it as though it was traditional or, hey, this is this is what I grew up with. This is what I grew up seeing my parents do. But you know that it is wrong and you know that those behaviors breed other toxic behaviors. Therefore, it is up to us as parents because I'm a parent and it's up to everybody else as parents to take, take fucking, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Take, for, I can't find the word, so I'm going to use another one. To take an analysis, a brief analysis of every circumstance where we may have grown up in a toxic environment or with toxic behavioral patterns from our parents. It is up to us to take that into consideration and to see where we can change that so that we no longer have those cycles of toxicity in our family so that we no longer breed generational curses and blockages due to those toxic behaviors. Toxic parenting is very, very real. Also, a lot of times, toxic parents will cause you to doubt yourself because your parent, just the same way other people can see potentially you, if your parent is not happy in their life or their environment, or if they did not fulfill their true dreams or their purpose, and they see you trying, let's just say your purpose is, is not a doctor or a lawyer. Let's just say your purpose or your path is out the box. Let's just say you want to be a hairstylist. Let's say you want to be an actress, and your parent is telling you, no, you shouldn't do that. That's not realistic. That is toxic because they're putting doubts in your head where you already had your dreams. And I'm going to tell you, when you are a child, nine times out of 10, the passion and the goals and the dreams that you have as a child, that is what your true purpose is. And a lot of times there are so many parents, especially Caribbean parents, who will try to talk their children out of their true goals, dreams, passions, i.e. their true purpose, because either they may have had those same dreams for themselves, but they did not feel as though they could accomplish them, or they want to tell you because it's not a mainstream job like a doctor or a lawyer, they want to try to shatter those dreams and put you in a box where you don't fit. 
And that is very toxic. And a lot of times they will tell you that's not really just, you can't do this, you can't do that. And let me tell you something right now. The only person who really knows what you are truly capable of is God and yourself. Sometimes you don't even know your true, your full capabilities, your full potential, because you grew up in a toxic household where everybody was trying to conform and fit into a box, or they tried to put you on a, into a label that was not you. Okay, that is toxic, parents, and that's something that we must stop. It is time for us to water our children's dreams, their goals, and their aspirations. Let them find out on their own what it is they like to do. If they tell you that they have an interest in something, don't just shoot their dreams down because you never know. There's so many people who have the dreams and the goals to be actors, hairdressers, and everything else, and now we have celebrity hairstylists and everything else going on. We have different genres of work in every aspect that people could have only dreamed about. But those people, they did dream it and they also pursued it. That's why it's very important not to be a toxic parent. And I'm going to tell you how I learned not to be be a toxic parent was everything that my mother did to me growing up from, from lying about stuff, leading me on with hopes and dreams and stuff and everything else. Everything that she did that I felt was toxic or that damaged me in the long run, I just did the total opposite for my children. And a lot of times you may have toxic parents, but you you may not want to admit it to yourself or to them. And that is okay. But what I can tell you to do is where they may have been toxic, where they may have held you back or held you down from certain aspirations or goals, where they may have spoke negativity into you, you do the opposite. You speak life into your children, okay? You identify the toxic patterns or behaviors that your parents had, and you make sure that you do the opposite. It's very simple. It's sometimes it may seem as though it's hard to do because a lot of times we end up getting conditioned that way to where we might not even feel that worth or that value in ourselves. But you should always want your children and your following generations to be better than you were. So you just keep that in mind. And I'm going to tell you, it's a repetitive thing. You just continue to do it. You just continue to do it. Not just for your children, but for yourself also. Because as I stated earlier, children ch children learn from example. And you are always your child's first role model. So as you are breathing life into your children, as you are speaking life into your children, as you are breaking those toxic patterns and those generational curses and blockages for your children, don't forget to do it for yourself also. It's vitally important because... At the end of the day, that do as I say, not as I do theory, that shit is out the window a long time ago. Regardless of what you tell your children, if they don't see you following those same theories and aspects in life, they are going to do what they see you doing, not what you tell them to do. So it is very important for you to rid yourself of toxic energy and negative thoughts, narcissistic thoughts, nar narcissistic energies. Rid yourself, remove yourself from those toxic family members, whether they're parents, cousins, siblings, whatever. And your children will see that and put them in environments where they can flourish and they can grow. Allow them to see you, even if you feel as though you are too old to start over, even though you, even if you feel as though you are too old to pursue your dreams, and your passions, even if you may feel as though you are too old to end your toxic patterns and stuff, you never are. And once they see you trying, that is the start of something beautiful. Trust you me. Trust you me. That is the start of something beautiful. And never give up because parenting is a lifelong thing right? The same way that toxicity can be lifelong. But now it is time for us to change it and to rewrite that story. We do not have to go after our traditions, whether it's cultural or environmental on how our parents were raised and how they raised us and how we raise our children. It is up to us to break that cycle. We are the generation that is strong enough to break that cycle. And if you don't know how, all you can do, you can find a, a parent or somebody who has a family that you look up to and you can just look at them and certain things that you see that they do with their children or their family that you like, you can go ahead and you can emulate that in your own, okay? In certain situations, imitation is the best form of flat flattery, especially when it comes to properly parenting and not being toxic. With that being said, I'm going to leave you guys, but make sure to go ahead and go over to my Etsy and check me out. My shop's name is Empress Oracle Shop, and there I have all types of healing crystals. Everything I have on, I made myself. Okay, well, not the rings and stuff, but I also take custom orders. So go ahead, take a look. I have descriptions of everything and their benefits and their uses for everybody, male, female, and children. And with that being said, be safe, be blessed, and I love you all.